You just mentioned uh, seeing Hellboy. I want to talk about that for a second. I didn't see it, but I do want to hear your thoughts on it. Mm. Oh, this, oh, this is a f- fun because I feel like um, there is a community of people defending it. Like I'm, I'm the open Batman v Superman defender. This is not the same level of defense. This is a bad movie. I still think. <laughs> um, but if this movie came out in 1998 through 2003, I would have went nuts for this. Like, <laughs> this is like so funny. It is like a Slipknot song away from my favorite 2002 <laughs> movie, and. <laughs> I like like I, it's your it's, favorite it's, 2002 movie, Resident Evil. <laughs> actually, um, I really do love that first Resident Evil movie. It's um, rad. And look, the, the common thread there: Mila Jovovich is a queen, and she's great in this movie. <laughs> um, I, I look. I I'm not going to defend this movie too hard, or other than kind of laughing with it. It's fun. It is the same kind of um, feeling Venom has, where it's this not serious movie. It's not too polished. It's not. The standard that, like, once again, Disney just sent, and we were just talking about all this, but I had a good time with it. Um, I don't know why we, quote-unquote, rebooted it, because this just feels like the last Hellboys um, with more blood. Compliments for blood. I always love more gore. Um, Mm. But it's just, uh, yeah, I had fun with it, and I'm sad not... I don't think critics went into it with the right mindset or this isn't Mm. their cup of tea. Because, like, horror critics, there's a website, Bloody Disgusting, they're being fairly nice to the movie. And I'm like, yes, because you guys get this kind of movie. And I think it's it's, it's going to find its market. And I think it's a fun viewing. Maybe not run out to theaters, but I I would say see it. How's David Harbour as Hellboy? Oh, um, ooh, yummy is the word. <laughs> <laughs> yummy I, was- I mean, I haven't seen the film yet, but... Um- I remember when they ages ago released the first image and announced his casting. I thought that sounded quite good, but I feel like I've been getting negative vibes actually since the film opened. He is, um, Ron Perlman has a fan base that will defend him to the end. Oh, yeah. And, and I understand <laughs> that. And there, this is kind of a very, I feel, Joker situation where it's going to be like, they're not the same Hellboy. They're the same Hellboy. They're not the same though. And I like both of them for what they did. David Harper's great. I can see him doing this amazingly on like a streaming service. If this was a streaming okay. show, this would be the jam. And I don't know who owns the rights to this, but throw it on a Netflix or something, and this could do really well. This just, he's good. Um, this doesn't feel like, I guess that kind of goes with, this doesn't feel like a big screen movie. And I guess we're in an age where some things feel like streaming, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But this isn't spend $12 on a ticket opening weekend. Yeah. Not yeah, opening of- weekend, I think. I think I just saw it's only come in like fifth or something in box office like it's uh, underperformed yeah. I think I think it's three little I think it's two which yay because I thought little did well um I thought it was an okay movie and Shazam still won so yeah she's yeah. um, Hellboys it's fine I like I said it's such a cheesy bad good time it, it hits that level it needs to where I'm like oh you guys just went balls to the wall fine thank you have a great time I'm enjoying it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, apparently, the uh, making of this movie was not a great time, though. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, Neil Marshall is dating. Let's let's talk about some fun insider stuff. Is dating the woman who was in the Kevin Sujinara drama at Warner Brothers. Um, so it's just funny. The one that got you know, I slept my way for jobs, and now she's dating him. So he like infamously like left set to be with her. There was drama with David Harbor. I loved reading this, and I would love a movie about the making of the movie Hellboy. <laughs> all, of this, all of this passed me by. I did not know there was drama. I only it's... caught it because we 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 had an article on it on the site. Uh, Oops. Apparently. Um, Apparently, Neil Marshall got into all sorts of fights with the producers because they got rid of his cinematographer, and David Harbour just walked off set more than once. Wow. So, Interesting. It, like, he kept yeah, being forced he, to do more takes. He wanted his girlfriend to be in the movie in a role that was originally meant for a black woman, and then he wanted to give it to a blonde <clears throat> white girl. There's just a lot to this movie, and I love Neil Marshall Game of Thrones episodes he has directed are awesome. The Descent is an amazing, beautiful horror movie. Um, this wasn't any of that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but it, it's fine. Like, I hate that there is drama because it does explain a lot of the messiness to this. It reminds me a lot of 
um, not on the same level of that Fantastic Four movie where I'm like, ooh, Josh Trank's awesome. <laughs> Bad situation. You didn't need to be there. I'm yeah. sorry. This sucks for everyone. 